Calamity Cannon. Stand to attention! You're in front of a royal guard, you measly... Well, I wouldn't even call you a measly civilian. I call you a measly criminal, if anything. You want to bring harm to all those civilians, and we're not going to let you do it. But anyway, welcome back, everybody. This is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. So we are over here in the Dea Village Ruins because there is a journal over here which should yield some more information regarding today's quest. And that quest is known as the Merchant Hood. There we go. So it's an EX treasure. So it said the royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits, but they were stolen by a bandit named Misko. One of the items stolen was a traveling merchant's hood. Somewhere in the Dea Village Ruins is a journal that places the location of this treasure. So somewhere around here, we have got a journal to be read. Now, I don't know if the journal would come up on the, on the detector or if we just simply need to find it. So we should probably eagle eye each of these buildings just a teensy bit more than we normally would i think it's going to be fairly obvious when we come across the item that we're looking for though i'm sure it'll have a little glint about it or something along those lines and um, whilst i've got you here as well loads of people have been pointing out that this will likely be the final episode of breath of the wild like forever like as of right now there is no other dlc announced for the Breath of the Wild. So once we've done this, we have basically done everything. So that's a little bit sad to think about, but um, that will be something that we just sort of tackle whenever it may or may not be, you know, revealed. Um, and there are a few things that people have been desperate for me to do. Ooh, are you an EX chest or are you not? Let me quickly bring out the old Magnesis. There we go. And pull. Nope, you're not. And I doubt the journal's inside of this either. What do you got? Oh, a Frenic Bow. Actually, not that bad. Plus 15 to the damage. Um, but no, some people have been asking me to go and speak to the various people in each of the towns. So, you know, in the Rito Village, in uh, Goron City and stuff like that. Tons and tons and tons and tons of people have wanted me to go and speak to the law providers. As in, like, you know, story law, not, you know, law breaking and all that sort of stuff. Because remember Cass said to us that, oh yeah, there we go. I remember Cass said to us that he spoke to each of them about various different stories that they could share about the champions back in the day. Apparently there are like actual textbooks that we can have a little read through or little conversations we can have with them. Um, so that is something that we will do. And also, there is also the fact that we can go back to the home in Hateno Village, like our house. And apparently at our home, we can place the photo of us and the various champions together um, up on the wall or something and we can basically go ahead and um, and unlock something I don't know what it is, but that's all I've been told so far I don't know if it's just like a little cutscene that plays or something around that but that's all we know for now Oh my god, there's a stone talus there. I had no idea that was going on. I heard the music change when it really <laughs> Didn't really see anything in front of me. This royal claymore is working wonders for us. Yep, and another one There you go the little uppercut Give me your goodies dude. Well, you got some amber What are the stones? Rubies, anything else good? No, just loads and loads of amber. Where is this diary? I feel like we should probably take a picture of this diary. Or the journal, even. So when we come across the next one, we can find it using the uh, the treasure detector. Nothing there. I'm assuming it wouldn't be in the water. You know what I mean? I feel like it would be above it. Maybe stasis would be a better one for this. Because it is a physical object, isn't it? So we might be able to find it that way. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. I wonder if we flip that, if that would do anything. It looks like you probably do need to hit that one. I don't think we can magnesis it. Yeah, I reckon we might be onto something here, dudes. Let's have a little look. There you go. A couple of the flax. There you go. We only need it to lift up slightly. Go on. Please be here. Please be here. And... There's a chest. Doesn't look like what we're looking for, though. No, just some purple rupees. Okay. Where is this journal? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Got it. All right. Now, I don't know if you can actually take a picture of this. Let's give this a try. So, if we go like that. Mm, it doesn't seem to recognize it as an item, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, let's get to it. Was this book always here? Anyway, first page. I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. All right, okay. Oh, wait, will this actually cover all of them then? This will be all of Misko's um, thieving. So the Traveling Merchant's Hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozu Lake. Oh, my God. I'm hoping that just by clicking through these, it will automatically add them to the adventure log. Failing that, I will go back through and I'll take a picture of them all. Uh, the blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Monote Ritha was born. Okay. Uh, the helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of the Dueling Peaks. We're actually not far from the Dueling Peaks. Uh, the evil spirit's armor is set uh, is hidden within Farron's Sea of Trees. 
and find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River, and at the broken stone bird of Abara Forest. Oh my god. Uh, X2 is all that's written on the last page. What could that mean? And then it basically takes you back to there. Okay. So obviously X2 means... I actually don't know what the X itself means. It obviously means it's the DLC, but... I don't know what EX specifically stands for. Maybe expansion or something along those lines? But anyway, let's have a look at the adventure log. Has it updated now? Let's see. Merchant Hood. Yeah, here we go. So it says, in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Dracozu Lake. Where in the world is Dracozu Lake? Oh, there you go. Dracozu Lake. Oh, okay. So this is the one it was saying was south of the Jewelling Peaks. Okay. So Dracozu Lake, and then what was the other clue again? Let's have a quick read of it again. Uh, in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of Dracozu Lake. I'll tell you what, let's just teleport over to it. Let's go to the uh, the spring of courage, and we'll see how we go from there. I always thought that was a mouth as opposed to a hand, but maybe it's like a, a large claw or a large talon. All right, we're here. So somewhere around here, there's a, there's a right hand or a claw or something. I'm basically just going to get ourselves up to the top of this area see what we can find. So this is the Spring of Courage. Whoa, there's a big old moblin just there. Let's just run past you, buddy old boy. Now, we've still got the chest on at the minute, haven't we? Or the chest detector. So if I were to change this out to Magnesis, this might give us a slightly better view of what's going on. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I know there's a lot of enemies around here. But look, the, the entrance to the lake is a dragon itself. So somewhere on the right claw, would it be his right or our right? I'm guessing it would be his right, wouldn't it? So it would be on top of that claw over there. It's likely where it's going to be. Oh, yeah, look, the detector is going crazy. Another minute. I've hopefully got to be able to climb around here without too much going on. Tell you what, if I throw on the thunder helmet, then those guys shouldn't be able to hurt me with those arrows. Where are we looking? Thunder helm, thunder helm, thunder helm. Where is it? Thunder helm. There it is. Got it. All right, thunder helm. Cool. Right, they shouldn't be able to zip his app on me anymore. I should be basically invulnerable to to any ranged attacks. We'll probably take a bit of physical damage, but that'll be about our lot. Let's have a look. Is this the right spot? Oh, unless it's underneath it. That could also be a thing. Is there anything to move on that, by the way? No, nothing to move there. What was the clue again? Let me reread it. In the right... Oh, it says in the right hand. Oh, maybe it's underneath here, then. Hold on. Yeah, look, the detector's going nuts. It must be down here, then, or something. Anything here? I've looked above and below it, and still nothing. There's not a smidge of red anywhere. Maybe it's on that little ledge. Oh, there you go. Descend downwards. Is it underneath you somewhere? Oh, wait. It's there. It's there. We've got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Pull it out. There you go. Don't let it go too far. Okay. That's perfect, actually. Here we go. First piece of Miso's treasures. Ravio's hood. Oh, I recognize you. I think I've only ever seen you in A Link Between Worlds. Is that the name of the new one? Which which was the one on the 3DS with the paintings? That's that's the one I'm thinking of. See, the thing is, is outside of um, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, I think I've only played a little bit of um, of Ocarina of Time. Actually, no, I played Ocarina of Time in full, and I've also played Majora's Mask, but I've never really played the 3DS ones that much, and especially not the SNES ones, so a lot of that is kind of foreign to me. So there we go. There's one piece for the day. I reckon we can do two a day. And then we can round the series out at 100 episodes, which would be really, really nice. So, we've got the Garb of Winds. Okay. So, the blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and travelled the ocean is where the Minote River was born. So, where is the Minote River? I might have to just do a little Google on a wiki page for this. Minote River. Well, it says where it was born. So, maybe if we look closer towards, like, the ocean... Because that would be where it was born, right? Minote River. There you go. Look, there you go. Really, really simple browsing. So it was where the Minote River was born. So it's probably going to be right down by this shrine. Let's go have a little lucky. Right. So somewhere around here, there's potentially a chest. I don't know how far away it would be. Am I on the right track? Yeah, I would, I would say somewhere around here. Unless it's where it's born on the inside. It could be all the way up by Cora Lake. But I wouldn't say that's where it's born. I would say right down here is where it's born. Oh, wait, wait, the detector's going a little bit crazy over here. Oh, wait, where is it, where is it, where is it? There's something over here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, yeah, 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 I see a chest just there. Is that the one? It looks a little dusty, but it does look a little smidge purple. Hold on a second. Come on. There you go. And... Nope, that's a regular old silver one. Hello, buddy. There you go. You can walk, go away for now. 
Right. Whilst he's regathering his thoughts and his noggin. Ten arrows. It, it didn't tell you what, actually. We've needed ten arrows for a little while. We've been burning through ancient arrows, like, very, very, very quickly. So it's not there. The detector is picking up another one. Seems like it's quite a ways off, though. Unless it's only detecting that one. Oh, it is. I think it's detecting that one. Wait, is that another? No, wait, what? Why did they detect the same one twice? Let me just stop these guys from giving me grief. There you go. You guys can all stop that. So it's not here. So where's the next one? Oh, it's starting to detect something over in that direction. Oh, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, let me just pop over this way. Let me shoot this guy now. Mm, boop. There you go. Did they, did they come out when it rains? Yeah, it seems like they must do <laughs> when it rains. They decide to just sit out and about and have a little float. I guess it's because there's a lot of water in the air then, isn't it? They don't have to worry about the damp so much. Right, is it this one right here? There's another one just off in the distance as well. Well, dunk. Nope, you're a silver one. Let's open you up anyway, just because we can. What we got? Opal. Oh, uh, no, not what we're looking for. Right, next one then is over here. Again, doesn't really look like what we're looking for. It looks dusty, but it doesn't look like it has an EX on it. Is that really? I wouldn't say that's submerged. I reckon we could open that. Nothing there either. Hmm, 50 rupees. Where's the next one at then? We've seen like five chests here and none of them are what we were after. Nope, okay, I had a quick Google. Turns out it is up here. I don't know. Is a river born <laughs> in the middle of the land? I guess if it was a spring, it could technically be born inland, but I just would have thought if it's connected to the ocean, that would be it. You likely say it's the mouth of the ocean. I would assume that was where it would be, but no, nope, apparently it's just to the west of Cora Lake, so we'll go have a little nosy. Right, so down here somewhere is where we're looking. Um, Which way is it? Yeah, it looks like it's tucked in on the teeny tiny islands that are on the water level down here. Looks like there's a few Lazalfos though. Oh, jeez. There's a fire whiz robe as well. Don't mind him for a minute. Where are we looking? So down here somewhere is apparently what we're looking for. I'm just going to stand here for a moment. Is that rock there meant to go across the river and be part of that cross that we just saw a second ago? That seems a bit ridiculous. Is there any chests around here? Not seeing any. Unless there's a little something something going on inside of here. But I doubt it. Let's have a look. Oh, we can't actually do anything there. Let's get up on top of these rocks. Have a little look underneath the, the bottom. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that's miles away. Wait, hold on. How are you meant to get to that? It says you can try and activate it, but it's definitely not close enough. Hmm. Thank you, Mifa. Dude, I have no idea how to get to this. How in the world? Tell you what, let me throw on my swimming gear. Don't, I really don't think I can do much with this. Like, I can take the Porgy just there, but that's about your lot. You can't activate your runes whilst you're inside of here. How in the hell would you get to it? Is there a way of going through to the other side? I'm trying my best, but... Go on, go on. No, the current is way too strong. It, it really doesn't look like there's anything on the other side there. Is it possible to, like, stand here somewhere or not? Like, if I was to let go there. Mmm, just about. Very, very close. Yeah, okay, you can just about get to it from there. That one's a little bit tricksy, isn't it? Uh, if we can pop you just on that little rock, we'll be good. Oh, careful. Don't send it downstream. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, another one opened up. And... The Island Lobster Shirt. The hero of winds who once wore this shirt on the quaint island he called home. They say he wielded the wind to travel the ocean wide. It's a rather rare find. Huh. It's got heat resistance as well. Let's quickly throw that on. So there we go. We've got the Ravio's hood. We've got the Island Lobster shirt. Oh my god. We're looking like such a filthy casual right now. I love it. Let's throw on the right trousers. <laughs> oh my god. If that doesn't scream DLC, I don't know what does. I tell you what. Let's finish off Misko's story because I've just realized that this one here, look, it says armor still hidden three. So that one actually has three pieces. So let's do three pieces today as well. So now we've got to find the helm of the self-proclaimed king of shadows is in the swamp of the valley of dead trees. South of the Jeweling Peaks. Again, south of there. So, where is it? Jeweling Peaks is there. And then... Is this the swamp, I guess? In the swamp? The Valley of Dead Trees. Oh, unless it means south of the actual Jeweling Peaks itself. Is there a swamp down that way? Hmm... There's quite a bit of stuff here, but I don't know necessarily where it would want us to go. I tell you what, let's start off by actually just going to the Jeweling Peaks. Let's get high up on top of it as we can. Um, do we want to go north or south? 
I'll tell you what, let's go to this one, because at least we're at the tippy top of the mountain. All right, so south of here is something that we're looking for. So there's a couple of trees there. It did say a swamp, didn't it? Let me just trouble check. Where is it? Oh, it's someone here. Oh, you guys are knocking about. Hey up, mate. Let me knock your head off the entire mountain. You as well. Sparta kicks for us all. Right, so it said, what was it? Let me triple check it. In the swamp of the valley of dead trees, south of the Julian Peaks. So south of here, got Tobio's Hollow, which I don't think really looks particularly swampy. And then this has a lot, a lot of trees on it. Tell you what, let's, let's just go this way. Let's just jump off this thing south and we'll just, we'll figure it out as we go. I reckon that's the best plan right now. Here we go. Fly, fly, fly. Oh dear, I'm still taking damage because it's so cold here. Oh, come on. Are we out of the range yet? It should warm up any second now, surely. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, treasure chest. Do we go for it? Is it going to be a dud? Oh, I don't know. What do you reckon? It seems like it might be down there. There is a little bit of light down there as well. What's that? Is that a... Oh, it's a pinwheel. Oh, I haven't done one of these in a while, actually. Hold on a second. There we go. Let's have a little go at this one. Oh, it's a target shooting one, isn't it? I've only got ten arrows. Oh, they're all moving. Wait, wait. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, wait, they're moving every so often. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, missed it. Keep it held. There you go. Nice. And then we'll go for the next one up there in a second. Far right. Oh, just missed it. It's coming here, though. Next. Boom. Got it. <laughs> I love these little guys. Little Korok. <laughs> you found me. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a dude. All right. I uh, need to get out of this bubbly this bubbly mess. This horrible bubbly mess. Can I, like, cryonis this or anything? Uh, hold on a minute. Cryonis. Oh, I can. I can cryonis this. Okay, good job. Could Revardis get over the top of it, but it's saying... Hold on a minute. Where is it? It's saying there's a chest this way? Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Magnesis. Where is it? Magnesis. Oh, there is. It's right there. Is this it? No, it could, no, doubt it. It looks like, oh, no, it is. It says EX on it. Oh, my God. There we go. That was way easier than expected. Nailed it. Zant's helmet. Oh, my God. It looks like a weird gecko. The ruthless usurper king of the twilight. Oh, God, yeah. I forgot about him. Wore a helmet much like this one. It's a rather rare find. Tell you what, let's take off Rovio's helmet and throw that bad boy on. Where is it? Um, There you go. Oh, no, I don't like it. No, I really don't like it. No, not feeling it. I'm taking that one off immediately. There we go. Throw on that one. There you go. That's better. It's better to be a weird bunny than to be a weird chameleon. Life lesson. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we're going to dive in and do the final quest in DLC 2. And I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> we're going to dive in and do that. And then we're also going to run around and read each of the bits of lore from the various towns. And then we'll finally deliver the picture to our home in Hateno. And I'll see you all then. Ta-ra.